Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Here is the dried result to the piece I did the other day. Now when it's out in the sun, it shines quite a bit and it's not um, varnished or um, there's no resin on it yet. But the back turned out pretty good considering I just put, um, I just put the press and seal on it. So little tip there. I'm going to have to clean up the edges before I resin it, but I'm kind of happy about this. This looks good. And I have the dried result to um, this was This Way to Heaven. And I don't know if you guys got a chance to look at this video. It's only an eight minute video, but right at the end I swear I see an orb, like my aunt came and signed it. It, it kind of traveled right across the, the canvas. So this turned out beautiful. Um, it dried exactly the way um, it, it was when it, it was wet. So I'm really happy about that. And we are going to do a straight pour tonight. Uh, I'm gonna do mostly, um, transparent colors. This is um, Amsterdam Permanent Violet Blue. No, it's not. Jeez. This is Amsterdam Permanent, Vi Permanent Blue Violet. This is... We also have I have a mixture of golden, titanium white, and satin enamels. I, these are the colors I really wanted to try in this straight pour, and it's the Matisse. And they are both, this is semi-transparent, this is transparent. And this is the Southern Ocean Blue. This is the Australian Red Violet. And I have a little kitty playing. Where are you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a little guy. I've decided not to call him Spirit. He's not answering to it. So I've been calling him Little Guy, but I think I might go with Bandit because, yeah, that, that fits too. Or Luke. And I have the Pebio. Meow. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm let you in. There you go. There you go, you guys go play together. I have Pebio, high viscosity, in co iridescent copper. And to that, I have added the um, Conacredo Nicolase of gold. And it came out to be a really pretty, like almost penny color. It's really cool, I really like this. Okay, oh bye. And we also have the Declar Metallics in 24 karat gold. Americana. So, I'm trying something different tonight. And this was inspired by Canela. And I got these um, risers. Um, they're furniture um, risers with levelers. And they worked like a charm. I'm so excited about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Canela. Um, I will link her channel and she has an Amazon shop. I do not, but you can get them on her Amazon shop and it is completely level, perfectly level. And yeah, this is, it's, I mean, what a great tool. What a great tool. So you can just, these just twist. I'm not going to twist them because they're perfect right now. And I've also taped the back sprayed it with water and we are now ready to go so i've got my 16 ounce cup here i am going to drizzle just a little bit of white in there and then some gold bolt, just a little bit and then what do i want next to that I love this color. It's a 
don't want a lot of this in there. And then next we are going to go with a little bit. Oh, there's another bug. Let me see here. What do I want to put next to that? I'll put a little bit of white. And then, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to do the purple. Permanent violet blue. I have a termite guy coming. This has been quite the week. Between the AC um, in my tenant's unit and now the toilet and my washer crapped out. And, oh, oh gosh, I missed. Oh well. What do I want to put next to that? The gold. Gold is coming next. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some of the copper down. And then a little bit of white. Whoops, that's too much white. Darn it. Um, it's dripping. And I'm going to put some more of the ocean blue, southern ocean blue. More of kind of violet blue, kind of blue violet. I'm going to put the copper next to this. I made this specifically smaller because I did not want to use a lot of it. And a little bit of white. And more of the ocean blue. And a tiny bit of gold. Now I'm going to go in with the blue violet. Red violet. No white. Gold. I'll put white on the top. Yeah, see I made a mess. Ooh, that's really strong stuff. It's one thing I have to admit about that um, Australian um, red violet. It is very pigmented, very, very pigmented. Okay, so we've got our beautiful cup here. I am going to take some, do, 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 a little bit of water. Oh, I only have a little bit of water left. I should have thought of that before I pressed record. to thin that out a bit. Probably needs to be thinned out a little bit more. I'm going to put a little white down first. Oh, and a little gold. And then I'm going to pour into it. Here we go, straight pour. Big cup. You know what? It's a big flimsy cup. So I'm going to take a couple more, just for good measure. And here we go. So these are mostly transparent colors.
while we're doing this, I wanted to let you guys know, I did, these are some test tiles I did, and I'm probably gonna resin these and use them. Um, be careful not to stack them on top of each other, because my favorite one, this one, I did that and it, it came off. So tragically, that was the best one. <laughs> And uh, I ruined it. So those are things that when you do test tiles, you can use them as um, for your art too. I am going to get me some more water. I'll be right back after these commercial messages. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna put the gold on the outside. It's my flow extender. The Matisse um, Red Violet is very thin. I had to thicken it up. And to thicken it up, I used some um, Liquitex Basics Gloss Gel Medium. Now, when you're doing that, what if you've already poured your cup and you need to thicken it, you just put the gloss medium on the side of the cup and then smush it up against the cup. Smush, 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 and then stir it in. Um, it works out best that way. So we should get some really nice pearls here. I left the cat door open again last night thinking that my raccoon deterrent device was working and it was not and I found a raccoon in my kitchen last night and as soon as he saw me he scrapped but what an uneasy feeling um, I think it's time to ask my neighbors not to feed the stray cats now so when they're coming into my home not good no my spatula. There it is. Two of them right here. Bandit! <gasps> Bandit! He looked up! Oh my gosh! Bandit! Oh, you're so cute. He's rolling around on his back. Wow, I'm liking this a lot. I haven't done a straight tour in a little while. He's got his paws on my feet. I'm getting so much joy out of him. I did send a check to the lady who took Chloe for her shots and uh, I guess there's a couple of people who are interested in her. She's a beautiful, beautiful cat. I mean, just gorgeous. And I guess she's been, she's like the cat whisperer. She's been working with her. So I could never get close to her. Not once in three years. She just doesn't like people. So hopefully she can find a good home. Maybe with a barn. With lots of mice in it to, uh, I don't know if that's enough flow extender or not. We'll find out in a minute. Take some more out. There we go. These things are really convenient for this. Gets every last drop out. Oops. Here we go. Hey, little guy playing in the studio, he's exploring. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. So, where do I want to start? Well, I want to start by torching it.
car. It might go that way. Yeah, I think I will. These things are gonna, they're kind of cool because you can hang on to them too. Let me just, maybe I'll do it in a circle first. Going around in circles. Here first, and then come back. Instead of going corner to corner, I'm going to go edge to edge. Now, I do want to anchor this side because I really do like it. I wanted to see how these transparent colors, I mean, I have the white, that's the only opaque. Bring it back to center, slowly. Now, I'm really liking this, so I'm going to anchor that first. Seeing some nice pearls coming up in the corner. This is getting very elongated. I'm not liking the center right now but I might be able to fix that. Ooh, these colors. <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't look like a big, huge man part. Uh-oh. I think I see something. take some of that white off. It's going over to that corner anyway, that's good.
it's turning out really pretty. All kinds of stuff popping up. All right. I am going to put it this way because that's the orientation I think I would have if I were to hang it. I'm trying to get that straight. I think it is. All right, I'm going to put it on fast time lapse. <laughs> watch it develop if it uh, develops anymore. That, oh, that ocean blue is just to die for. All right, look at that, it looks like flames. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm putting you on time lapse. one of my favorite straight pours. Oops, sorry. I'm a little crooked. Shocking, I know. So I love these pearls that came up. Oh, and I've got to show you the sides. Are you kidding me? Well, that's, that, ain't, that side isn't even that great. No, well, there we go. It's just, uh, Oops, sorry, going too fast. Oops. Yeah. Crazy, right? Nice. Happy about the sides. Happy about the whole thing. So, yeah, I love these Matisse colors. And you know, I have this side over here with these really long, wispy tendrils. And I love those. And I was thinking, God, it would be, have been so nice to have them on the other side. Then I went to the other side. And then these little guys have, you know, a lot of color in them. They have, um, they have some of the uh, copper and then the white. And then they have the um, Australian red violet and we ended up with some green up here and don't drop the phone I don't think there's anything I don't like about this piece very cool and then the copper is the star of the show are you kidding me I'm so glad I added the copper and look at all the cells it created and with the Nicolaso gold in it is uh, super special, especially up against that gorgeous um, Southern Ocean blue. Got lots and lots of, uh, you know, some of these, some of these cells or some of these uh, pearls on the side, they, they look like hearts. See, there's a heart. I see hearts everywhere. I heart you. Yeah, cool. And then I love the softness of this like baby blue that was created from the um, the white mixed with that. The center, mm, it's okay. It's not. It's not bad. It's actually I gotta s stop doing that. The center is magnificent. <laughs> Right. Um, you know, Mina is the, the queen of centers. I just, every center she does comes out absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really happy I did this with these colors. I'm glad I did a straight pour. And uh, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.